Hi there, fire signs. This is Jeffrey, and this is Ripe Color. This is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for the week of May 15th through the 21st. I look at the calendar. <laughs> so I just finished the collective reading, and it was very fiery. So I was like, let's continue with the fire. And then it, 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 that's what it is. The little message is like, let's see where my passion takes me. That's the message. There's this sense of uh, adventure, the sense of uh, hope, the sense of uh, mm, adventure. Nice. Okay. Let's see what the cards have to say. We started the rainy season here in Mexico City, so we had a little mini shower a while ago. I got home just in time. And there should be another one coming in about an hour. But this next one that's coming in about an hour is going to last a couple hours. And it really rains hard here. All right. I'm giving you a little weather update. One, two, three. Uh -huh. All right. I have the Ace of Wands, the Six of Wands, which came up in the collective, and the Knight of Wands. Three wands. So, um, beginning, knowing you're going to be supported. You know, it, it's this energy of um, courage, of strength, of fortitude, of uh, movement of um, action of freedom of freedom very exciting what well, i mean what a way to begin the reading fire 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 for the fire signs and it's uh beginning action and perseverance if i break it down because knights are action uh, aces are beginnings and six is perseverance Six, the Six of Wands is such a wonderful card. So I always understand the Six of Wands as King David. And there's this energy of he was put in a position of leadership, put in a position of um, being supported, being deeply and completely supported and admired and, and beloved and beloved you know it's like the knowing that there's wind beneath your wings knowing that uh, it's all going to work out knowing that you know yeah you, know, you know you might have some you know interesting uh situations whatever on the way toward your goal but it's okay because it's like i'm going to do what i got to do wow and then i get the nine of cups The Nine of Cups is, uh, I mean, it's the wish card, right? And it's attainment, emotional satisfaction, attainment of emotional satisfaction. And let's say you've always wanted to open a bakery. You know, I give my examples. <clears throat> and it's like, you're not 100% there yet, but you know, you got the space, you got the ovens, you have the recipes, maybe you have the help. You know, you're really excited because you know you make the best cupcakes, you know, for a thousand miles around. You're so excited because you just love making these cupcakes. <laughs> if you want to open a place around here, I'd be more than happy to be your customer. Nothing like a good cupcake. Cupcake's a hard thing to bake, too. A really good cupcake is really, really not easy. Um... Sometimes I wish I had the baking bug. I would love to open a bakery, in theory, just because I love it so much. But the other thing about the Nine of Cups is that he's supported. He, he feels safe. He feels safe. He feels comfortable. He feels loved. So, you know, when you're coming from that space, it's a really, it, you know, whatever it is you want to do, you can accomplish because you know you're supported. That's the energy. Another wand. The page of wands. 
So the Page of Wands is, uh, has this energy of youth and enthusiasm and, and moving forward, but it's like, okay, so you want to open a cupcake bakery, whatever. And uh, I'm just giving an example. And, you know, it's like you have this inkling. It's like, I've mastered cupcakes. I bet I could do great donuts. I bet I can great make great muffins. I, I know, uh, you know, there are other things I can do. And there's also an energy in the Page of Wands of going into uncharted territory. You know, he plants an oasis in the desert. That's how I understand him. So because he has this uh, energy of youth and, and enthusiasm, the thing about the pages is that they don't really have experience. So it doesn't even occur to them that it won't work. It's like not even part of the vocabulary. It's not even part of their, their mindset. It's not part of their um, uh, outlook. So if it's not part of your outlook, then it doesn't exist. Like It's like that. Yeah, look at that. And temperance comes through. Temperance is um, the angel of healing, the angel of balance. It's really about um, having one foot solidly on the ground and the other one in your intuition. And uh, your crown chakra is a lit, so you're getting ideas from heaven. There's this understanding, also this balance, because it's kind of, he's kind of the alchemist or she, it's kind of the alchemist. Um, and it's also, it's the card of Sagittarius, by the way, which is fire sign. There's an energy in the, um, in the intemperance of, um, kind of reaching out to the angel. There's this energy of like asking the angels and your higher self for help and the help appearing. You know, it's like this interior, because I feel like, the angels don't show up. I mean, I know from my own experience, like they don't show up unless I ask them to, right? So if I'm willing and I ask them to, then they show up. But I have to make that first. I offer something. I offer my heart. I offer my hope. I offer my desire. And that's when I'm met, right? I, I think, you know, first you give and then you receive. Six, lovely. So the six of cups, the six of, oh, oh. It's supposed to be a six card reading. I don't want to spoil you. It's a really, really lovely, uh, fiery, comfortable, supported energy. All right. Uh, I offer private readings. I offer uh, IET. I also offer pendulum clearing and I offer pendulum clearing classes. So uh, please check it out. Uh, for the extended reading, it's $4.99 a month for members. Please become a member. And if you're on a podcast, please check me out on YouTube and uh, Red Color. And see you soon. Blessings.